It's here! The last episode of Obi-Wan Kenobi, part six. I think that's, yeah, part six. Um, yeah, I'm ready to see how they wrap up the show. You know, obviously we got a lot of information that people felt was missing in this previous part five episode. And I am expecting that it will only continue to do so. <sighs> obviously we know of ultimately some things that won't happen because of we know the future of who survives, right? Which makes me believe that this will be Reva's end. Obviously she got severely injured last episode, but we know the power of anger and revenge, what they can do, especially when you have the dark side on your side. Maul. And, and obviously Anakin, aka Vader. And then Grand Inquisitor. Although we don't know, some people have speculated, is there just a whole cloning party going on of Grand Inquisitors? Or would he just su survive his injury? We don't know. I don't know a lot about that species, so there could be some business going on with that. Maybe he has like five stomachs or something and it went through one. Either way, let's stop going down that rabbit hole. I foresee that Reva will come to her end. I'm hoping it will be something that she can have closure on, obviously chasing something for so long literally her whole upbringing was to get revenge yeah i'm uh, and obviously the man of the hour obi-wan kenobi how were they going to you know reunite leia with the family people speculate will there be luke and leia meeting i don't think so that would be odd but whatever but yeah like how are they gonna wrap up this whole Vader knows Obi-Wan's around and vice versa. What ends up getting Obi-Wan back to Tatooine, living in a hermit, peaceful situation, watching over Luke? That's what is up in the air for me. So I don't have any more speculation beyond that right now. I'm just ready for a good time. So let's just get right to it. Something you want to say? Yeah. I have something to say. Wait your turn. Ooh. You have what's left when I'm done. Oh! What a waste of water. I'm looking for a farmer. Are you in pain oh. still? Oh, that's right. They got in, getting chased. Oh my gosh. Look at that maneuvering. Let them get away. Love it. That looks like the old school tech. They not getting out. We're not going to make it to Tessanavi. Motivator shot. What are you gonna do? You gonna jump out of the ship and go frosty space walking? Oh, I love the human comforting alien species. I forgot his name. Oh, snap. Uh oh. What do you need, kid? Uh oh. Owen? Need you. It'll buy you the time you need. You must get these people out of here. Yeah, he you won't are go all after the them. future. You are the future. You're what needs to survive. I promise me that you get her home, Hodger. As soon as I'm in the clear. You have my word. Although I don't yes. think I'm a liar and a fake Jedi may not mean much to you. It's good enough for me. Oh, it's, it's her, finally. Ben is gone. Whose fault is that? Need to leave for a and hide somewhere. Where? Where enough? You and me. Uh, I can't. I mean, Girl, confidence. Stay my comment. Girl. Wow. Oh, that makes me have feelings. Rokan found it before we got out. She would have wanted you to have it. Oh. Is that Attack one she it. uses? Well, I wasn't going to give you a blaster, Leia. <laughs> You're 10 years old. But you won't always be. Oh. Trying to whip out the lightsaber again? Do they have like a little escape pod or something? Him, master. <gasps> Please, I completely forgot. He dies or I do. This ends today. Please. Ah. Uh, Dropship's all set. My heart. Why? People follow you. Don't stop. This is where the fun begins. Why well, wasn't so fun? But. We cannot prioritize one lone 
Jedi. Mm. He is not just any Jedi. This is personal. The Tuscans are on the hunt again. They're raiding farms along the waste. So stay in here. You know what to do? You they run. even lied. I'm not afraid. What is that? What plan is that? I will face him. Oh. Ooh. What is this? They're just gonna talk. You know? They got a lot of things to work out. Ooh, that's a cool shot. It almost looks like a whale in the sky. A pergill. Daddy has arrived. Ugh. Good thing you can breathe on this planet. Have you come to destroy me, Obi-Wan? I will do what I must. Then you will die. He just manhandled him. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at them doing it. Oh. Girl's gonna come slaughter a youngling. Like, isn't that the thing she's fighting against? But I know she's trying to cut deep into Anakin, you know. Not the planter. Just like in uh, Return of the Jedi. Ooh. Ooh. Strength has returned, but the weakness still remains. <gasps> Don't fall for that trick. Ooh, out. Oh. That is why you will always lose. Yikes. I have the high ground. Oh my gosh, she's gonna say it. Oh my gosh. Oh no. He is burying him. You don't even want to slice him. He didn't say I have the high ground. You have failed, master. You really love the boy. Like he's your own. He is my own. Mm. Ah! Reva, come on. I have some heart. Ah! Ah! Oh, I thought he just grabbed her crotch. I'm sorry. Oh. This reminds me of the Clone Wars episode. The power of love! <laughs> he is going after him again. Let him think you are dead. You got a boy to protect. Ooh, behind the back. Nice. Oh. Ooh. He's coming back with. <gasps> oh my gosh. This feels very Star Wars The Old Republic. Oh my gosh, I love it. He's strong. That's right, go for the computer. Oh my gosh. He is like full force, Obi-Wan. Oh no, oh no. Like with Ahsoka. Anakin. Anakin's gone. Mm -hmm. I am what remains. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Anakin. For all of it. I am not your failure, Obi-Wan. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. That's so dark. Ah, uh, he's so same way, creepy looking. I will destroy you. Hayden's doing amazing. Then my friend is truly dead. Goodbye. Darth. He only said Darth, too. What a powerful image there. The second time. The second time he's left him to die, but not ending him. Oh, snap. Don't become what you were trying to destroy. Just like Anakin. She's conflicted because it's a youngling in a very similar scenario, but it's also this child of Anakin, and she fears him potentially coming what he... They're, like, so confused. They're like... What? I couldn't do it. I failed him. By showing mercy, <laughs> you have given them peace. Have I become him? No. You have chosen not to. She does such a good job at this. Showing the vulnerability and... Ooh, interesting. Ah. Uh. We will destroy everything in our path until he is found. Uh oh. There he is, Pelpy. If your past cannot be overcome. Uh oh. -uh. Kenobi means nothing. I serve only you. My master. There we have it. Okay, I like that. Oh, you behaving now? Cute. Ah, and she's holding the holster. Oh. I'm going to do this. I love I'm going Bale. To to change a few things. Oh. Let's change things together. Oh, Lola back. Lola. Need my help again. You know where to find me. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. What do you think I should do? I think you should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you are wise, discerning, kind heart. These are qualities that came from your mother. But you're also passionate and fearless, forthright. And these are gifts from your father. Can't remember, does Luke even know? You know you were right. He just needs to be a boy. Ben? You want to meet him? Oh! Uh. Aww. That's right, because he hasn't even got to meet him. What a cutie. Hello. Hello there. Yeah! <laughs> You'd never come. I was always here, Obi Wan. You just were not ready to see you. Oh. Come on, you've got a ways to go. Oh my gosh, it's everything I wanted. <laughs> oh. I'm so happy they did that. I was oh, that was that was what I was going to say was my disappointment, and then they gave it to us in the end, which bravo. Um, 
I'm so happy now. That's what I wanted to see. Force Ghost Qui-Gon. Ah, <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll just speak on this episode. Really well done. I love the... I saw, at least for me, I was seeing a lot of, like, symbolism again um, and just the cinematography reflecting that. So Vader and Obi-Wan fighting. It could be an interesting um, metaphor for burying Kenobi. Like, he's burying the truth, burying his past, right? Didn't even confirm he was dead, but I think that was the whole thing Palpatine was saying. It's like, you're getting, like, your judgment is clouded. It pulls weakness out of you because there's... There is some small confliction. I will stand by that. I know there's people who are like, Vader's brutal killer, and that's fine. He still is. But that's not to say that this person that grew and great, that he knew so well, they were brothers, they were friends, that was his master, and he brings out this sense of this past that makes him maybe question some things or has doubts and obviously like again there's this understanding people might have with vader being like is it like a split persona is it vader and anakin is it just this direction almost he's pushing down the subconscious part of himself and saying i am vader like just so much denying that part of himself that's almost what i'm going towards is he's like no anakin's dead it's just vader like i killed him because he's like, he was weak, right? Because he's so, you know, you know the whole story. Um, that's kind of the direction I like to see about it. So I love the part where they cut his mask, where Obi-Wan cut his mask and revealed his face. Very similar to Ahsoka in Rebels, that episode. Twilight the Prentice, I believe it is. Where same thing, she saw his face and she's like, Anakin. And you saw there, there was that moment. And that was like, and no, again, like Ahsoka was like a special place, like, Obi-Wan and Ahsoka were like the people for Anakin outside of Padme, obviously, but she's no longer. That had a special place in his heart that were part of his upbringing, part of his, like he helped train Ahsoka. They went through so much together. She helped, they were, they helped each other learn lessons, right? So same thing. I'd like that they showed this little nod to that episode, but also like Hayden did wonderful acting there. Like, you know, it, it's just his face, but I love the distorted they did of like his voice, Hayden as Anakin's voice, and the distortion of Vader through the mask and that kind of split, you know, severed identity and debacle or whatever. I don't have the words. Anyways, the difficulty they were having with dealing with this, you know, not only being in front of your old master, but you were just like cut down. And that was so much of what you're almost always trying to prove yourself being stronger than trying to be worthier than there's just something about it. And, and it's unfortunate. And I found it beautiful that Obi-Wan finally was able to say, I guess he kind of said it in Revenge of the Sith, but he was saying he's sorry and he meant it. And then that was a really impactful line of Vader's like, you didn't kill me. I did. Like Vader say, I killed Anakin Skywalker. It is just Darth Vader now. That was pretty big. And honestly, I think a factor of healing for Obi-Wan that we see some of this continual strength come back in him that we saw when he returned to Tatooine. Um, we started to see he was able to get some closure on things, some information and have some bash out their feelings with each other. Uh, but yeah, so I really liked that. Um, I'm satisfied with the way that went. Again, them fighting it out. But I think it makes sense that Palpatine would be like, Psh. in the grand scheme of the Empire and our goals, Kenobi is nothing. He's like, he's not even, he's like a fly that we just like flick away when he gets in the way. But otherwise, like they're so, their ambitions are so much wider and sets forth on other goals like the Death Star and stuff. You know, Kenobi shouldn't be something that's a distraction. So I think that makes sense why Vader would stop chasing because he's like, well, I know you're there, but you're right. Like I was putting everything aside just to chase him. Like they didn't even stop. Like the fact that he chased Kenobi instead of finding the pathway, clearly that was showing the error of his ways. Um, I don't know if they're gonna do any more of this timeline. I know they've played back and forth with the thought. Um, I really like the Broken, that leader character. I don't, I'm not familiar if he is a character that that has been in Star Wars and future stuff, and I just am not connecting the dots, but either way, I liked his character and he did a really good leadership role. I liked seeing the growth in all these characters. I liked seeing Leia 
kind of realize that there is a role she plays in this and, and seeing the greater what her parents were saying, like that, you know, to be a princess. And I like that Bale's so sweet with her saying, like, let's make changes together. Like they're so respectful of her and she's younger, but they always treat her as, you know, as wise and intellectual as she is. And then, of course, I I am very satisfied with Rita's story, and I'm happy that she did not perish, obviously. Um, that was just what I was assuming would go, but I'm actually happy about, because we don't always see this. Basically, it's like the direction that Anakin had the choice to make, but obviously he had the whole, like, Palpatine manipulating and all that. Like, he had a lot against him, so I'll give him credit, right? That's a lot. Um... I, I just love that scene of her on her knees in the sand next to Luke, kind of like them representing the same thing of like an an innocent being childlike again because she was, you know, crumbling back to that past of herself, which is like as a child not being able to save and, and Luke even representing almost some of her fallen friends, right? Fellow um, Jedi and it just kind of broke her and i think that was really sparked something in her that she's like and that was the whole thing right that she was like i'm becoming this thing that i was trying to destroy very similar to anakin right he was like he's like anakin you're becoming the very thing that you were sworn to destroy right and reva was she swore to destroy vader and she was becoming him if she was to slaughter that then that's the difference though it's that she made the choice just like obi-wan said you get you had mercy and you brought peace and you can change at any point to change that path and direction, which I find it's beautiful too for a message for all of us in life that there's choices and clearly she has a past of imprisoning and slaughtering force users, right? She can at any point change that direction and, and she kind of woke up almost and was realized that, you know, she could still set out to destroy him without becoming him, right? Like there's other ways that she can do that and that could be by maybe helping eventually the rebels or something. I don't know where her story, if they're going to continue that, but I am curious and I did see respect her as a character. And I think um, seeing the full stretch of her story helps fill her out as a character, as we would expect. We get background on her past. We see the vulnerability and the complexities and the emotions she's dealing with. And we see her overcome that. And that's the growth. And I appreciate that. And I think she did a wonderful job acting that. I love that scene of her just showing that the internal struggle come out. And finally giving in and changing. So yeah, for the show overall, I am happy with it. I think I think it's exciting opportunity that they're putting it out in movie theaters as a compiled, very like large three hour movie or whatever. It's a good binge worthy show to see everything. I think I understand where people would be disheartened by the show and the direction by some of the early episodes feeling lackluster and maybe lack of depth with again is understanding because you're setting up the scene, you're introducing some characters at a different point in their life, even if they're familiar, they're emotionally and mentally in a different state right so i think by binging it you get to see and explore that and feel like you have the closure at the end right instead of at the end of an episode you feel like it just drops off i kept going on with it and i kept having good hopes for it and i'm satisfied for the sh for the show as a whole i think they did a good job they showed they explored the ptsd and the emotional journey and 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 grief and all those emotions that obi was going through and they even re were reflecting and with through reva and obviously with vader slash anakin and all that they also showed like set him up for who we meet him in his elder years like when we see him in the original trilogy and it's somebody that is wise and has strength and has more of a, a handle on things right isn't so overcome like coping better basically with past trauma uh, but obviously when he's directly reminded of certain moments it will spark those moments of him like staring off and thinking about his friend especially with the years going between that it's understandable it'll probably never leave um but yeah overall i'm i'm happy with the show and i liked the way they did that. Yeah, I think there there were some elements. I was disappointed with the Grand Inquisitor. I don't think they reflected his strength very well, like we saw and reflected in Rebels. Um, but there was a lot more of the story to tell. They didn't get to like touch on like his past and his um, hill inhibitions. We kind of get to explore that in the animated show, right? That has no reflection necessarily on the actor, obviously. It was just the direction. He wasn't the highlight. He was just the character and it was a little reference flipped something but they wanted to show it more about being about 
Obi-Wan, Vader, you know, Leia, they showed some there, and Reva, obviously, as a new kind of a good good way to show a story also connecting from the path from a different perspective so i like actually seeing as traumatizing as order 66 is i like us being able to see different versions of people that were involved or part of it and how they dealt with this large traumatic event right masters jedis youngling jedi the man who did it, who slaughtered them, the clones, right? And, you know, we're seeing, we saw, you know, only a very bit of that through Grogu, who can't really communicate his full story. But yeah, so overall, I'm pleased with the show. Highlight is obviously for me seeing Liam Neeson repraising Qui-Gon Jinn and seeing him finally show up as Force Ghost. I was going to say, I'm happy at least that they're giving him multiple i think it was three times that he spoke and had moments of meditation to connect with his master and i thought it was a good thought to him to finally have again reconnecting with the force and having that newfound peace that he was finally able to see qui-gon and speak with the force ghost qui-gon so that was cool and i'm happy about that so yeah i think that's it i don't i don't want to ramble too long um but i think it is strong if you watch it in single format as a movie or binge binging it so definitely recommend that if you want to if you want to tackle a show but guys thanks so much for being on this journey of uh the obi-wan or kenobi show and hey stick around if you want to see more i have a whole back lava content if you want to see more star wars there's clone wars rebels um all the movies so you can see my if you're curious about my reaction and thoughts on those and there's all of course things to come we have the bad batch coming out we have andor coming out we have other shows the tales of jedi and ahsoka whenever those come out um mandalorian season three so a lot of good stuff coming out. I'm really excited for eventually two games to come out. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope you are too. This is a fun time being uh, just being part of a fandom in general, but being part of the Star Wars fandom, it's a cool content. And again, just remember that everything is, uh, this is all something we love and we all love different parts of it. Some people love every aspect of it. I get excited just to explore it. I try, you know, there's certain things I might not be as famous as much, but I I have fun with it. Some people get really focused on a certain part of it. Uh, maybe they grow up and that's their that's their joy. Some people really like getting into the legend, uh, legend stuff, the EU stuff. That's all great. That's what this is. This is a, a world to explore for us to be enjoying and having fun with and making our mind widen and and have our own thoughts of directions it can go and that's great it's subjective and it's a good time i need to stop saying and i keep hearing that in my head but uh so just remember to be kind to one another and and let people enjoy what they enjoy without insulting intelligence or their likes because that's not what it's about it's about enjoying it and People can always choose to step aside on something they choose is not their cup of tea, and that's all right. So just wanted to have that note. Um, but if you want to show support for this video and for me as a creator, don't forget to upvote that video with a thumbs up, a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button and put on notifications if you want to be alerted. I don't overwhelm you with a ton of videos, so and I don't have a consistent schedule. So if you like to see things as it's up or be reminded, make sure to push the bell for notifications. I think that's it. Oh, I guess as side things, I'll plug other things if you're interested. If you're still here, hi, thanks. Um, but I have a TikTok I'm starting to do more stuff on. I upload some of my stream clips and I try to make them make them interesting enough, but it's gazelle star so gazelle like like the youtube name and then star s t s t a r uh also i stream on twitch so twitch.tv and that is slash zell x e l l l e that's where i stream videos like sometimes we watch like youtube stuff but a lot of time i'm playing video games and we also chat sometimes i do random music stuff um, so it's all over the place. Give a follow over there. Let it, it'll notify you when I'm live. And if you're like what you're seeing, you can stick around or come by next time. But that's all my stuff. And that's all I'll say.
because I've been talking a lot. And I appreciate if you're here. Thanks. Uh, say beep beep boop if you've made it this far. You're the special ones. But all right. I'm wrapping it up. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you next time. And bye. May the force be with you. There we go.